EA Sports FC is here and you guys should be looking at foottrading.co.uk. We guarantee you will make millions and millions of coins. We've got people selling the coins they're making for massive, massive profit. We've also got a tournaments area launching. If you fancy yourself as a competitive FIFA player, you'll have the chance to win prizes every single month in our competitive tournaments. We'll be seeding you guys all that stuff to make sure it is fair for each of you guys to play. And if you sub for the season pass, which will save you about four months, if you sub between now and the end of the month, one of you guys will win a copy of EA Sports FC. Chances are you might already have that, so we'll just give you the cash you spent back. It is that simple. Check out Foot Trading, but for now, let's get into the video. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. Please do subscribe if you're new around here. Half the people who watch these videos aren't subscribed. It makes a massive difference to the channel. Drop a like, it takes 10 seconds to drop a like and a comment. I will comment back to you. I do to every single person that comments on the videos. And I will be live on Twitch from 5.30 p.m. So if you click the link down below, you can come over and join the community there. Join our Discord there as well. We'll be able to help you guys make millions of coins this year. So please do get involved. But I talked about consistency this year and I meant it. We're going to be continually bringing out videos to show you guys how to make coins on this game. Okay, simple as that. And later on, it'll be showing you how to make packs for free. We do it every year. It's great fun. So I've talked to you guys in previous videos. If you haven't seen them yet, go and have a look um, about things like shadow trading, things like silver trading. They're really good to build your coins up to just start to build up uh, what we call a solid coin base, all right? Now we want to start talking about what you're going to do with that solid coin base. And one of the major ways that I think you can help boost that coin total is by solution trading. Now, if you don't know what solution trading is, it's basically using the solutions you see online on Footbin, Footwiz, whatever, usually Footbin, um, to trade and make coins, okay? So I'm going to show you guys on Footbin how I find players to trade with, to make coins with. Little sort of disclaimer, don't spend your whole day doing this, change your methods up just because EA can be a bit funny if you're buying loads of the same card and selling them, so just bear that in mind, but you, you, you should be fine, it shouldn't be an issue at all. So we're going to head over to Footbin to show you guys what I did, how I did it. I'll be right back. All right guys, welcome to the Footbin. Um, I've got some different prices up I want to show you guys, um, but... This is the area you need to look for. So under SBCs, it has got a, um, it basically lists all the active SBCs. And you're going to click on the SBC that you want to do. So I'm doing the, I think that Nations, League of Nations hybrid. And you're going to choose one of these squads. Now the squads you want to choose are the two sort of best squads. So the final two SBCs. And you're going to go to something like, which is one I'm on at the moment, Fiendish. And what happens is, it, a footbin have an AI. And what, what it does is it automatically generates the cheapest squad at the time, okay? So it will generate a, a squad that says, right, this is the cheapest way to go and complete this SBC. So why I've got up, what is the cheapest SBC to complete at this moment in time, okay? And it was this one here. Now, if we look at these cards, so Matic, for example, when this SBC dropped, Matic was 450 coins. This Bon Segundo was 450 coins. Uh, Cashwish Michael was 500 coins, okay? So what your job to do is then is go and look and think about who am I going to go and buy to make profit. Now, if I can give you any good adv advice, you want to use these obscure people, for example, someone like Bon Segundo, who is like an Argentinian in the league of, uh, basically La, La Liga Women's. She's quite obscure. So she could be a very good person to buy because she's probably going to be one of the only people that can fit the criteria for this, being an Argentinian cam in that league. So it's quite obvious. Nemanja Matic might be quite obscure. Again, he's quite high rated. He's Serbian, he plays for Ren, like there won't be that many Serbian 81 rated CDM. So you want to look at these cards. And so what you want to do is you want to head over to the game and you want to search for these guys. Now, Nemanja Matic was the guy we were just talking about. He was 450. As you can now see, Nemanja Matic is probably close to 1,000 coins, okay? So he has doubled in value since that SBC solution dropped because people are lazy and they will go to this SBC solutions to make themselves their coins, Okay. So picking the person can be difficult to think about. So if we look at Santi Comasana, okay? So he is a 78 rated CDM for Villarreal, okay? So have a little look at him and we'll see what he's done as a, as a card, right? So Comasana. And as you'll see, not much movement in him at all. Why? Because there's probably quite a few CDMs from La Liga that fit his criteria. And if you look, for example, he is a CDM for Villarreal, okay? The right back that links him, Jesus Navas, is from Sevilla. David Lopez is from Girona, okay? These guys can usually be swapped out with other ones. Now, David Lopez has been in a lot of solutions, a lot of solutions. So he's actually quite a good card to trade with in general. But Comisana, for example, isn't probably someone that you're going to be that bothered about. 
We'll go and look at Bon Segundo though, right? So is it Bon Segundo? Hopefully I'm spending that right, saying that right. Bon Segundo, there she is. If you look at her, again, if you look, she was sitting at 450, and what's happened now is all of these guys have just been listed up at 450, every single one of these. Now sometimes that's EA influence in the market, other times it's people just listing her for what they see on Footbin or Footwiz and not knowing that she's actually gone up in value. So I'm assuming most of these are gone. I'd be very surprised if they're not. No, they're still there. I know I can go and buy a load of these up because it is the, the most expensive solution. And I know a minute ago I checked her and she was selling for nearly a thousand coins. So if I buy up all these Bon Segundos, because they're here. Again, there aren't going to be that many people that fit the criteria that she fits. So we're going to go here, going to buy here. There's a 650, though. I didn't really want to buy that. Uh, 650, they can say the 500 will buy though. So that's that basically. So I now know she fits the solutions. So people are going to be lazy and they're going to see that SBC and think, right, what can I do? Oh, I've got to go buy a Von Segundo and that's it. So there's only one 600 now. I've got to go buy a Von Segundo for it. So cheapest now is 800 that's been on the market. So I'm going to go and list them all up. 900 coins each in and around that because I know I'm going to get that much for them. Even, even that 650 that I didn't really want to buy, I'm still a decent buy. Um, we're going to list them up. Like 950 on this one. 900 on this one, 950 on this one. Just gonna mix it up so I'm not listing them all for the exact same amount because I don't wanna hold the market down too much. And you don't wanna list too many at a time. If you flood it, you're gonna have a problem. Really, you don't even wanna list as many as I've just listed. One or two at a time is probably the best way to go about doing it because that's probably what's gonna help you sell more of them in the long term. Um, but she's eventually gonna start selling bit by bit by bit. You can see a Matic there we bought. I'll show you Matic in a second. Um, but we bought Matic because I just wanted to test if he was on the way up, and that's the best way to test them. So if you're not sure, list one. That's the best thing you can do. List one, and if they sell, then you know they're on the way up, and you can go about buying them. And that's how you're going to make coins bit by bit by bit. So we'll let the Bon Segundo sell when they do that. But as you do this, you'll start to learn basically players that you can trade with, and I've learned a few as time goes on. So this is Vivian Asayi, okay? She fluctuates like crazy, up and down, up and down, up and down, okay? So her graph is a perfect example of someone that may be quite good to SBC trade with. So as low as 1.3, as high as 3.5, as low as 1.4, as high as 3.4, up back up to 3.2 again. And since then, she's been distinctly low for most of the time. She's still a little bit more than discard, but she's dipped lower. As 6 p.m. content comes, and she, obviously she's not been in a solution probably now since Friday, she drops low enough, again, she may enter into a solution. All you've got to do, basically, is when you get to the solution pages, just refresh. So we can see nine minutes ago, that was the cheapest. Let's see if there's another one that's changed. So 30 hours ago, so for some reason it's not showing me the newest one, which is really, really jarring. But it should show you the cheapest one. How do I do it? Non position change reset. It should show you the cheapest one. Oh, so actually the cheapest one now is 30 hours ago. So it's gone back to this one now, the one that was 30 hours ago. Now it's become the cheapest one again. So more people now are going to start doing these guys. So I can go and have a look. Let's see if Tadic is... We want to see if somebody's getting the chemistry, really. Let's go for, for me. Let, for me. Let's have a look at Fomley. Right, so she's now the cheapest one. Uh, I'm going to come back on this and go up to transfer market. She's now the cheapest one. So I can go and have a little look at her. And you want to get in and out pretty quickly, basically. So that's now that's not the cheapest one. Is it Fumley or Foamy? That's it. Foamy, right. So I'll have a little look at her. As you can see, she's become the cheapest one. So what's she done? She's boomed again. Right, so obviously I was talking to you guys on this. But she's now up at 1-4. So you would get them bought, get them listed, get them sold, flip it on, move it on again. That's how you find them. But let me just show you some guys again that we know are good to trade with. So say you've been someone that's really, really decent. You just need her to get into a solution and you know when she's in a solution, she booms, okay? So she links to someone like uh, Kurt Zuma, so he does quite well as well. You can get links basically. If you know she's West Ham fr French, look at West Ham French players, both in La Liga Femme, um, Women's Super League and in the Premier League, basically. Fred, again, he's 900 coins at the moment. A good one, 2-5, down to 1-1-1, one, one, one. up to 1-7, down to 9-7-5, 2-6. And again, it's held a little bit low now because he's not been part of a solution since yesterday. But another good card to trade with. Lisa Evans is another one. She was really nonplussed, nothing about her really. Then suddenly, she was coming up on our um, radar because she started to go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And she's got basically close to where she is at her low. She's really little risk involved in her, but she's another one that's quite good to trade with. Again, if you spent 350 coins on her and you sold her for 2,000 coins, that's an unbelievable return on investment. It's a huge amount, what you're five times on your coins after tax. That's a massive amount of profit that you can be getting from these players, okay? And it's really as simple as refreshing these guys 
and seeing which one becomes the cheapest. So 34 hours ago, found the cheapest one here as well. So you've got to be quick to move. You get onto here, you check the price, look for the one you think is going to be the best one. Probably going to be someone like Onimonu, to lead some other good, Andre and Cabela. They both strongly link each other, so they're probably quite important for this. It changes quite regularly, but you've got to be quick to be like, right, let me get in, let me get in, let me get in, buy a few, list them up, move on. Buy a few, list them up, move on. You've got to sit there and grind it out in order to do well from it. You have to sit there and grind it out, but it's so worth it. You will make so many coins just by grinding it out um, from each SPC solution. And don't panic if one suddenly becomes no, not cheaper than the other one. Don't stress about that. They will come round eventually. So if you've got loads of players and you're worried about it, they will eventually come round again. There'll be a cheap one to come about again. It just takes time. And again, you've got enough time. You see that one's still the cheapest one again. You've got enough time to get in there, get your cards bought and get them sold. Like as I'm talking, that foam is just sold in front of me for 1,300 coins. So that's a really, really good return on investment. And if you pay 500 for it and you're selling it for 1,300 coins, you can't really go wrong. And as you can see, the Bonsegundos starting to sell because people have used them and they're starting to grow. So bit by bit by bit, I'll get those sold for very nice profit. And I can just keep repeating that all day long if I want to, to keep making profit. And that's really how you solution trade. Now, as you're doing this, I would advise you get a list of players that you've worked with before that you know are good to trade with and just periodically check them. Periodically check if they're in solutions. Periodically just check and maybe buy them. And even if it gets to the point where you've got a list of 50 players and you just buy one of each, leave them in your club, go and check the price every now and then, put it back on the market again. Because you think about it this way, if you bought, let's say you bought 50 really good SBC solution players, right? Just say 50. And you pay 400 coins for them and they get to 1,000 coins. You're going to make yourself 600 coins profit before tax. Each time it does it, that's 30,000 coins profit before tax for a very little spend. So it's really, really simple and really, really easy to make coins doing it this method. Don't just do this method. Look at shadows as well. Look at silvers. Change your methods up so EA can see you're clearly trading and not just coin farming and basically sort of transferring coins or whatever because that's what they seem to think for some reason. But it's one of the best ways you can trade right now. If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure notifications are turned on so you never miss an upload. But for now, I am out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.